This past week, the Lions Club of Douglas held their annual St. Paddy's Day Parade, and I caught up with Art Jamison to talk about it. St. Paddy's Day in Douglas right here? This is the fifth year. Five years now. Getting bigger every year. Art also spoke about what makes an Irish heritage parade so important to the people of Douglas. Well, when you go to the graveyard up here, just take a look at the name on the on the uh, gravestones in there. And there's Brannigan, Fannigan, Milligan, Gilligan, Duffy, McCuffy, Malachi, Malone, and there's Quilties, and there's the Rileys and the Canellis, and you know, it's pretty well Irish here. And isn't it great that they're keeping up this great Irish culture? It's not just Douglas who enjoy the festivities. People from all around the valley come and line the streets to enjoy the parade. Well, they recognize it as something very unique here. And, uh, you know, they're very boisterous about what they do, the celebration of the Irish. Of course, they wrote the book on how to party. You don't need a whole lot of uh, uh, reasons to have a party. <laughs> But it's uh, you know we've got the uh, we've got the uh, Polish and the Kashubian north of here, the Barry's Bay area, lots of Irish in Killaloo. We've got this little pocket here, and of course we look at the whole Ottawa Valley, both sides of the Ottawa Valley, and over in Ladysmith, Quebec, you've got the German, the Oktoberfest, things like that. So it's just great that this culture is kept on, it's promoted, it's played, and it certainly is preserved. That's the big thing. I also asked Art what separates this parade from any other Santa Claus parade that maybe happens in the valley. It's the only one! Everybody has a, has a Santa Claus parade, but we only have the one Irish parade. You can view the St. Paddy's Day Parade from Douglas all this week on Kojiko TV, starting at Thursday at 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. and Friday at 3.30 p.m. For Kojiko TV in Douglas, I'm Richard Leroy.